Now young niggas get to the places I'm staying. My boy got that link on my chopper. It's just like a polo. Like it is shirt on my knock. Like I'm smoking. What's up, YouTube peeps out there in YouTube land? You already know this is your girl, Burnett Perkins. I'm coming back with a reaction video on Positive TV. Um, she's speaking on Ross Knight putting down the grading Latrice Allen. You know, these two is the hot topic of um, YouTube at the moment. You know, at one time it was... Um, dread a slay, you know, just dread a slay by herself, pretty much. So now we have um, Ross Knight and Latrice Allen, you know, going at it, you know, a lot, a lot, you guys. So, anyway, I want to say go and subscribe to my channel, hit like, comment, and notification bell. Don't forget to share, sharing is caring. If you don't share, just subscribe, just tell someone about me, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. My channel is going up slowly, but it's going. Peace be still. Humble yourself. And I have patience. Nothing but patience. So, you guys, we're going to get to this video. I'm not going to um, comment. I'm At least I'm going to try not to um, comment. You get what I'm saying? Let me clean my, eye, my other eyes so I can make sure I see. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Actually, it is raining outside right now. For real, for real, here in Florida. But anyway, you guys, let's get to this video. And I'm, I am going to say something. Just hold on. Help Latrice. Mm. You can't help people with verbally hurting them at the same time. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say she started calling you names or whatever. I, I, I don't remember hearing any of that. To be honest with you, I'm going to have to be honest with you because I have to. Yeah, I hear that music in the background. Now, while I'm asking this question is because I looked at this video this morning when I was headed to work. And when I heard the noise, the music in the background, I, suppose, I guess supposed to be relaxing music or whatever, what now? This music, y'all forgive me what I'm about to say. This music fucked me up real bad. Because I'm listening to her video thinking my phone ringing. Cause I had it, you know, connected to my car, and I'm and I have this a similar sign like this when one of my daughters called, and that music in the background fucked me up, y'all. If this morning, do you hear me? I'm like, God, okay. I'm like, now nah, I'm trying to look at this video, and one of my daughters calling, and I'm looking. And then my phone wasn't even ringing. It's this music she was playing in the background. Okay, y'all, I'm done. Anyway, let's get back to this video. But I'm telling you, it fucked me up. The answer to God. I do not remember even Latrice coming back at you until here recently. I'm talking about the last few days. I hadn't heard her come at you. Now, I, I may not get to see all the videos because of the kind of work I do. So, no, I don't get to see them all. But I don't remember her coming back at you at all. For weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, I don't. And even the people that I partner with, I team with, they don't. We remember her saying that there were people that were, was kind of harassing her and coming after her, harassing her and coming after her. We remember her saying that, but we do not remember her calling your name at all. I'm sorry, we, we, we don't. Even through several weeks when you were calling her name and saying specifically her name, her kid's name, the house, and, and listen, you was you were singing and dancing Rennie's name. I heard Rennie's name a lot. I heard Latrice's name, of course, a lot more because every time you began to come on your platform, you were calling her name, Raj. You were calling Latrice's name. Her full name. more to you how people look at you your stance how many followers you have subscribers you have how many likes or dislikes does that matter more to you than your own personal credibility does that matter more to you than your morals and your standards can you live with this six months from now can you live with what you said it did six months from now are do you want to continue to build bridges that come together 
in unity and in love? Or do you want to burn bridges that you may have to cross again, not even knowing that? Not even thinking or knowing that that same circumstance may happen to you or a family member. Mm -hmm. Not even thinking that you may cross that person again in life and you may need them. Oh yeah, we all can say, I'll never need them. And we always say that, y'all. We always say we don't need someone or we don't need that person. Then, you know, God will turn that thing around. He will turn that table around, you guys. And you end up needing that person. But too shame and embarrassed to say you need that person. You know, um, because you said you didn't need them. But so I, I, I get where she's coming from. I get what she's saying, you know. But that's all I'm, you know. That, I'm not going to sit up and say that's all I got to say. But let's finish. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll never care. It doesn't matter. But it does matter. And you will care. To human is the error. But to continue to make the same mistakes over and over again, for whatever the reasons is, and just throw caution into the wind and say, I don't care, is not being accountable. It's, it's unaccountability. is irresponsible. It's neglectful. And you hurt so many other people sometime in the midst. Not only people on the outside. I'm talking about people on the inside. I'm talking about your circle. The collateral damage, children, family, friends that have to live through what you said or what you've done. Those people. I'm going to give you a quick example. Okay. Give it. I Come was on. married once. Okay. I've been divorced now for several years. Okay. I have two children. Alrighty. Either one of them will tell you my mother never, ever discredited our father and it was a pretty bad situation but I wanted them to make the decision yes I was protective of them to keep them away from what was going on of course I was mm -hmm. of course I wanted to protect them and I did I kept them away I got them away and I kept them away but not because you know he could change the situation could change or, or whatever it was more so they needed to grow and make their own decisions. And what if that person does change? What if that person has some good parts of them? Because all of us do. Okay. What are you feeding into others about others? What are you feeding? So, ladies, how do y'all feel so far about what she's saying? And in her, you know, her title, she said, before you judge, watch this video to the end. That's that old slick thing. You know, you got to watch somebody's video to the end. So, you know, they'll get more watch time in. This is why she's saying, before you judge, watch the video to the end. Y'all make sure y'all watch my video to the end, too. But, but she's not worried about whether you judge Latrice or not. She just wants to make sure you watch her video to the end. You get what I'm saying? So she can get her watch time in. Let's get to the video. Into your audience. What are you feeding to your family? What are you feeding to your friend? What are you feeding to your coworkers? What are you feeding to them about somebody that you barely know? Let me even say don't even know at all. What are you feeding them? Are you going to be able to live with that? Live with yourself? somewhere down the road and this is not a ploy to get you to side with me or side with the other person or side with the next person this is a ploy for you to look at who you are what you're doing and to take accountability whether that's me whether that's you no matter who that is no matter who that is we have all have got to be accountable for what we do and what we say true period Pooh. i have kept it no secret that I am a supporter and that I follow the real comedian, Latrice Allen. Okay. I have said that from day one. True. I have kept it no secret that I am not a supporter or follower of any of the other folks that this fiasco has involved. But because I am a reaction channel, or me and the people I'm with are a reaction channel, 
and we react, but from the positive end of it, I do watch others. But not only the ones in that circle, but you will see in the future weeks to come, days to come, we will talk about many other people, some that you have made suggestions of, but it will just be from a positive standpoint. Mm -hmm. We are a reactive channel. We right. care Positivity TV. Okay. On the positive. That's who we are. We report on the positive. So with that being said, though Latrice Allen, comedian, real comedian Latrice Allen, is our people, I see the good in her. And when y'all, when she say our people, she's talking about our people. And y'all, y'all smart. Y'all get what she's saying. Y'all reading between the lines, okay? You know, let's get to this video. And that good is what God has shown me. But I see a lot of good in the rest of you. It's just that she is the one that I initially support. And that's not taking anything away from anyone else out there that has their own platforms. That is simply saying, she is who God has put in my heart. And let me say that just because we are reporting right now on the real comedian Latrice Allen, and because that is who we follow closely, that does not mean that we have anything against the other folks that's included in this, all of this is going on. It just means that we don't like to straddle the fence. That's what that means. Mm -hmm. That even means that I still think a lot of the people that most of this has been involved with and that, that where it started at. So she preferring to I Rose. I don't think that they're bad people because I don't know them. Rose. Rose What Squad. I am saying is I don't understand. Purple Hearts. Why it had to get this far. I don't understand how people can tear into someone that they know not. Mm -hmm. Other than just a few steps in the past of that person's life. And I do not care who it is. Nobody should be tearing at a person's past or present that they don't even know. They have no circumstantial evidence other than what they have heard or seen bits and pieces of, but they don't live in the same house with these people. I would be wrong. I would be completely wrong if I got on here and told you that Roz, that heads up the Roz squad, is a bad person. I would be totally wrong if I told you she was evil. You wouldn't be wrong. You wouldn't be wrong. What you would, you would be at just voicing your opinion. What do y'all think? Do y'all think she would be wrong just saying, oh, Ross is a bad person. Latrice is a bad person. I'm a bad person. You a bad person. No, you voicing your opinion. That's it. It's, it's plain as simple as that. Stop it. Stop it, I say. Y'all, let's get to this video. I would be totally wrong if I told you that she was um, vindictive. I don't know her like that. Okay. What I will tell you about that situation is that it's gone way too far. True. What I will tell you is that I think it was judged that Latrice was judged unfairly. What I will tell you is that though Roz may have meant. You guys, I'm going to pause. I want to share something with y'all real quick. Okay. Really, really quick. I hope I hit the right button. I don't end my video. Okay, y'all. She's saying Latrice not a bad person. Okay, um, she's not a bad mother. She's a good mother. She's doing her her um thing out there, and you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, doing her comedy, doing her skits, and all that stuff. But y'all, can y'all please, please explain this to me, okay? I want y'all to take a good look at it, and I will rewind it, or you can just go slow on it on your own, or whatever, whatnot. But let me go back it up. Explain this to me. Now look how she just launched that dog in the air. Now y'all see that? Now 
y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Watch this here. Look at that. Her own daughter. Yet she calls herself a comedian. I don't know comedians that do that kind of shit. Do it again. Now look how she just lunged that dog in the air. Now y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Watch this here. Look at that. Her own daughter. Did y'all see that? But positive TV is taking up four. Did y'all see how somebody tossed Remy up in the air and how that baby just hit the ground? And when the baby got up, she started crying. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's telling the baby to come here. She didn't stop the video. She didn't go and pick up her baby. The baby jumped up on her own. Then to top it off, somebody threw the dog. I'm not an animal hater. But okay, fine. That's an animal, okay? You don't mistreat animals. But this is a human being, a baby. So, I wish I could slow this bad boy down. Yet she calls herself a comedian. I don't know comedian. Just look at that. Yet she calls herself a comedian. Oh. I don't know comedians that do. And yet, watch this here. Look at that. Her mm -hmm. own daughter. Went too fast. that dog in the air. Now y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Watch this here. Look at that. Her own daughter. But this chick here that I'm doing a reaction on, taking up for, please explain that to me on um, Positive TV. Break that down for me. Break that down for us. Break that down for the reaction, the T-Channel. Break it down for the people that don't have drum on their channel. Break it down for YouTube. Yeah, okay. It's old. Karimi is a little bit of a little thing. She's like, look like to be two years old. Which I think she's eight or nine. But still, okay. She's two or three. Look how the tomato tossed that baby. That's a skit too. But you want to sit up and say, what? I'm not. You know what? Y'all leave me a comment tell me what you think. Y'all give me y'all judgment on that. So y'all gonna let somebody throw y'all child up in the air and she land on her feet and the baby get up and cry? Bullshit. Let's go. To begin this situation to help Latrice is not appearing that way at this time. What's happening now is not helping her. It's not helping Latrice. It's not helping the fan base, the supporters, the followers. It's not helping anyone. What I will say... Mm -hmm. Same. In support of both groups of people, both communities. That's Latrice's community of fans. That's La that's Roz's community of fans. What I will say is that damage control needs to happen. It needs to happen quick. And what I will say, neither one of them are bad people mm. at all. But what I will say is that this began with this began from my recollection when Roz initially planted that first seed when she first began to report on Latrice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't even know who Roz was. I don't know that a lot of people did not. I know her fan base has grown tremendously now. And I would say greatly, greatly because of the real comedian Latrice Allen. I would say that. But I can tell you as a witness, my first experience or even hearing anything about Roz was when she first began to report on Latrice. That was my first experience. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying about that is that whatever platform Roz had before, some kind of way it did a U-turn in the road. So let's talk about that. Okay, let's get to it. This message is also to Roz, mm -hmm. including to our viewers on today. Roz. I don't even know what you're for. I've heard some people call you Rosalind. One thing you can know for sure. I respect. Completely respect your drive. I completely respect your level of intelligence. Because I can tell you right now. Just by listening to you. Roz or, or Rosalind. I'm not, I'm not sure the full name. Because I'm not digging into your business like that. So the part I do know is Roz and the Roz Squad. Let me tell you something. I respect your plight. I respect your drive. I respect your intellectual level. You're very, 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 very well dressed. Very well dressed. Very well spoken. 
what I've seen of your house is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Your daughter, I think, is just such a unique young lady. Both mm -hmm. of your daughters, so beautiful. You have a beautiful family. And the one that reads for you a lot, I think she is just a, a button, just cute as a button. <sighs> what I do want to say is this. However this began, you girls, you and Latrice have got to come to a happy medium. Right. You I can't agree. change the past. Right. But you can reform the situation, rehabilitate the situation, renew the situation, reverse, but not undo, because it's already done. But you can reverse the way you look at each other. Mm hmm Correct. Now, you probably will never be friends. Right. But you certainly can live in peace. Mm hmm And I'm talking to you when I say this, Roz. You, you have now got a platform, Roz, however you got it. Whether you, whether you want to say it came through Latrice or not, you know, most of us feel that that's how we got to know you. That's that's the only way I probably would have known you because I am very kind of loyal to like a few people and I don't even let a lot of people in my life and in my circle. I really don't. But you have got enough intelligence, enough go-get it spirit, enough, you're well-spoken, like I said a few minutes ago. You do not need to continue to piggyback on this situation is going on with you and Latrice. You don't need that. You can make it now without that. I think you are a quality person. I just think that this went wrong. It did. I think that you were encouraged to take this in a direction. I don't think you initially meant to. What I also think is that when you first began this and said you were trying to help Latrice, mm -hmm. mm, you can't help people with verbally hurting them at the same time. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say she started calling you names or whatever. I I, I don't remember hearing any of that. To be oh. honest with you, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to be honest with you because I have to answer to God. I do not remember even Latrice coming back at you until here recently. I'm talking about the last few days. I hadn't heard her come at you. Now, I, I may not get to see all the videos because of the kind of work I do. So, no, I don't get to see them all. But I don't remember her coming back at you at all for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. I don't. And even the people that I partner with, I team with, they don't. We remember her saying that there were people that were, was kind of harassing her and coming after her, harassing her and coming after her. Mm -hmm. We remember her saying that, but we do not remember her calling your name at all. I'm sorry, we, we, we don't. Even through several weeks when you were calling her name and saying specifically her name, her kids. You guys, I know a lot of you people out there don't like Latrice. But, um, she didn't. If, if, if Latrice did call Ross' name out, I, I would love to see a clipping of it. Because, um, when I started following Ross, Latrice wasn't even thinking about Ross night. Um, Ross picked up from Latrice channel, I think, when Coco. She was trying to help her overcome the relationship that Latrice was in. She was trying to give her some guidance. You know what I'm saying? When she was dealing with Coco. That's when it started. And I guess it, you know, it just took went left so quick, so fast in a hurry. And then Ross just clenched onto Latrice's coattail and started doing reaction video. And every every reaction video is about Latrice. You get what I'm saying? So at first she was trying to help Latrice. Yes, um, of course, she started talking about Latrice's children as well. You know. But not as bad as she is now. You know. She don't degrade them or nothing like that. She, it just whatever she see. That's concerning the children. She'll speak up on it. You get what I'm saying. It's not like she's saying Latrice don't feed the children. Or whatever. I don't. There's a lot of videos out there that I honestly haven't seen. So I'd rather not too much talk about it. Or speak on it. But I, I'm speaking on what I uh, pretty much seen and heard. Latrice was not 
never indulge in a conversation about Ross. Ross started with Latrice and she was trying to help Latrice, you know, like I said, with the Coco situation, then it got out of hand and it just been uphill ever since then. You get what I'm saying? So y'all can, if you like, ladies, um, leave your, your opinion on what you think about it, what's your thought, you know, you get what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You know, everybody have an opinion. I don't get mad when nobody leave their opinion or whatever. You know, and it says in the comment, be respectful. Be very respectful on your comments, you know. But you leave a comment if you like, ladies. Burnett don't mind. Name the house and and listen, you was you were singing and dancing Rennie's name. I heard Rennie's name a lot. I heard Latrice's name, of course, a lot more because every time you began to come on your platform, you were calling her name, Roz. You were calling Latrice's name. Her full name. Her full name. So I have to tell you, I never saw Latrice do that. What I'm saying to you, Roz, is you don't need to, to do this. I have a couple of videos that I'm going to bring out, but this one I wanted to say specifically to you. Roz, let's back up a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm about to end this video. I'm j I am just looked at my dang on blasting time, and it says 26. Gee whiz, I didn't mean to go that far. But anyway, I want to say live, love, laugh, laugh, love, live, peace, love, and have grease. And um, keep God first. first. Don't forget to pray for yourself and others. Lend a hand if you can. And um, stop the hate. You know. Mm, yeah, stop the hate. Don't forget to wear your mask, you guys. Because this monster. And I'm not calling Latrice a monster. I'm not speaking of Latrice. I'm just speaking of this thing that's going around. That everyone's getting sick about. Um, wear your mask, you guys. Um, and it, it's pretty clear on news telling you what to do. So, don't forget to. Grab your mask before you walk out the house. Don't forget to um, put your mask on before you get out the car. You get what I'm saying? Because um, it's deadly. It's it's deadly, you guys. So, anyway, let's continue on to pray for Sin City and Walt. They ain't got nothing to do with this video. And um, Chuck Chuck, you know, be love, son, you, son. And not only those people, but people that's going through it as we speak you guys let's pray for me okay so i'm about to get ready to get out of here and y'all don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit like comment and all that good stuff y'all and i don't mean to step on nobody's toes i don't want nobody to um, subscribe to my channel i want you to tell somebody about your girl Yay. but anyway i'm out of here you guys peace